What's going on YouTube? I have come up on something that I could only not share with nobody but y'all. I'ma call this resetting made easy card player poker edition. Gambler edition. Um we to an estate sale. And so, you know, people were picking over things. I look for small items because I don't have a lot of different places to um, store anything as it is. So I don't look for big items, you know, big fancy chairs, just different stuff like that to to buy. Anyway, before I get started on how I happen up on this and explain exactly what it is, I'm not going to hold you up so long. So please take a moment to like, subscribe, please comment if you see anything, anytime that I'm sharing, that I've peaked, um, let me know. We might can work something out. Okay. i already been checking some of these. I have some a lot of Dennis cards, y'all. A lot of them. A lot of Jim Cole. They run anywhere from 8 to $20 a, a day. I get Mavericks, I get the Vintage Hoyo. I get the Aristocat, I got the Vegas. I'm not through y'all. Um, I even check these Edward Jones, they are listed and they are going for about $17, 12 to $17 a day. And I have two pair of these. As well as I got an original Vintage deck of Vegas. Okay, these are some kids' tricks for me, some kind of magic card I don't have a clue. But this is what, what excites me the most about this find here today. Is, um, I, it took quite a bit of research. Two items, but the first one is this. And they also have some kind of trick cards in them. And it is a vintage. These are camel bone. This is a camel bone, ca camel bone case. It is beautiful. It's squeezy. It really is. Um, it has a trick set of dead cards in there. Marked or whatever they want to call them. Just like what it was when I purchased it. Quite a few. Also in here, another vintage box. Um, it's an oriental box. I did find that out. Um, upon research. But I, I don't know this guy much was a real gambler or a real cheat. It was a plantation house. It did have a lot of Louisiana, New Orleans paperwork in it as well. So, some more gym codes, some more kids street cards, and my favorite of them all: these bicycle, 125. These are vintage. They are going for about 27. I did look those up. One more thing I did find. A couple more things I did find at this day sale. I'm gonna tell y'all what I paid for this. Couple more items. I don't just deal in sneakers. I love beautiful things. I do. I love them. These are Oriental Descent. They are unbranded, but they are beautiful and they are gold. Believe it or not, salt and pepper shakers. They are beautiful. Also, I did find the most beautiful set of pots, um, some of that expensive stainless steel. And it's a set. It, it is, it's really beautiful with that um, dark brown mahogany wood grain handles. But it's for an electric range. And honestly, my daughter's mom got a birthday coming up. And brother been broke. And I got to ship them to her. But I might as well let her know that I do have them for her. So she won't think I'm trying to overlook her or be funny. But anyway, have an early birthday, Natasha, if you watch this video. And that's about it. For all this is stuff in here. And I did the value. Honestly, dig by dig. I'm going to try and do one by a whole set. I'm going to probably list this at about a couple of hundred dollars. And I'm going to try and break even anywhere from a hundred to a hundred and fifty dollars for it. You know, um, I don't have time to be going dick by dick. I can't afford to go dick by dick. And I'm talking about all parts of all of the cars and uh, the camel bones, every day. I'm going to probably 
count every deck of cards, including the kids' cards, with the three cases, do a package deal, $200, because they really are worth something. Uh, like I say, I did a lot of research on them, and it, per deck, anywhere from $8 on up to $27. They are, and all of them are in excellent condition. Excellent. Also, I'm going to let y'all go in a bit, but I have one more situation. I've been trying to do a little bit of picking with patients. Here where I'm at right now, because I got serious, serious doctor's appointment this week. But anyway, I'm known to be a major pick around here, meaning I pick my the best stuff. So lately, I've been on the Columbia, um, North Face, those brands like that, because they have, they have been doing Fabulous for me. I'm talking about fabulous. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This particular thrift store only sells them anywhere from two to four dollars, right? So this time of year, where it's such a large market for them, and like I said, they are high selling item. But I can only get from twenty two to thirty five dollars for each one, depending on what it is. Just say like if it's a regular, um, oh, North Face. Windbreaker rain jacket. I can get a full $35, 40 dollars for that. Columbia Fleece, lucky to get $22, anywhere from $15 to $22. Dollars. They don't understand that, but because me and it's a few more other serious pickers go after these items this time of year, they have actually stopped pulling them off the racks where the two and four dollar stuff at and putting them on their premium racks. Um, Selling them anywhere from fifteen to twenty five dollars, and I had to call them on that crap today, and I'm like, "This is ridiculous, man." I say, "Now, I'm starting to take this personal." I say, "Y'all did this on the sneakers." I bagged away from the sneaker. I say, um, "I went to the home goods. Y'all did it on the home goods. I even did it on that baseball hat. It was just trying to stick. I had to put my foot down about the baseball hat." They start sticking them behind the counter. I only pay a dollar for whatever. It can be a $50 hat. But you start selling them for a dollar. But because I buy what I buy, and they don't even know I don't sell them like that. I just love baseball caps. It's always been a fetish of mine since I was a youngster. I love baseball hat. I wear them. If anybody watch my videos and subscribe, they know I'm going to rock a baseball hat. The only reason I don't have one on now is because I'm at home and I did get me a haircut. Y'all pray for me because I got an appointment this week where I really need prayer. My cold and I got a fool. So, it is what it is. Anyway, listen, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe. I mean, I'm going to call this my reselling poker player edition with all these cards. Y'all come back, see me soon. Y'all stay blessed.